Hey best friend, welcome back. It's your girl Lele. And today we have another message to so go ahead, get your drinkity drink, get your snackity snack, let's get it popping. The spirit showing me with the pre-pulled cards here that people are starting to notice something different about you. You've changed a lot is what I'm hearing. You had a major transformation in the dark, right? You might have been kind of like a recluse for a long time. You were kind of shut off. Maybe you weren't on social media posting very often is what I'm hearing. But your fire is coming back because we have a lot of wands and we have Mars energy and Scorpio energy coming through here. Now, the first cards we have, we have the page of wands. Right, which is about that creative spark, right? You've been really focused on yourself in your own lane is what Spirit showed me here. We have the 11th house, which is ruled by Aquarius, and it says freedom, associations, and your circle of friends, followed by Jupiter energy, your Sagittarius energy, the granting of blessings from a good fortune. So you taking that time to isolate and to kind of marinate and work on whatever it was that you were doing in the shadows, it's like now it's ready to be shown to other people. I've been getting this message a lot. And I guess it's because springtime is on its way, right? And that's when everything starts to blossom. We're getting out of the dead of winter. And we're going into the springtime here in the Northern Hemisphere. And so, of course, that kind of reflects with us, too. We start to get out of hermit mode, right? And so right now, because you've been in this, like, you're very, I'm hearing, especially with the Seven of Wands here, like, you've been protecting your peace, You've been protecting your peace, not letting a lot of people in your circle lately. You might have cut off a lot of different friends and stuff who were kind of frenemies or people who were like putting your fire out is what Spirit's showing me here. Because we also have uh, in Cancer coming in here. It says intuition to protect, attitudes from and about the past and resulting from the history of. So Spirit's showing me, especially where it says attitudes from, not that part, the uh, intuition to protect, right? intuition to protect you see how there's this defensive energy it is given kind of like how cancer energy can be with the hard shell of the crab right having to pro protect your dreams having to protect yourself your goals at all costs because it feels like for a long time you were being triggered and like maybe you were trying to get people's like attention or trying to get people's validation in the past or like trying to see like what people think about what you want to go towards right and people kept on putting their two cents for a long time and they kept damping out the fire, right? So you had to protect the fire and you had to build it. I'm like getting this metaphor of somebody who's working on building a fire and you can't have any moisture in it. You have to blow air on it, right? Or study is what spirit's saying, like doing inner work, studying, all right? Doing all the spiritual workouts is what it feels like here. And you had to protect that. Uh, we also have the two of cups showing here. This is showing me, especially from the seven of wands to the two of cups, like I said, like you... Not a lot of, you were only showing like glimpses to people you trust is what I'm hearing. But clarifying that we have Aquarius, it says your vision, what's new and different about and use of unconventional way. Okay, so unconventional way. You have an unconventional way of viewing the world and I'm hearing that the world's ready to see how unconventional it can get, right? There's also a message coming through. It says, what's new and different about? That's what people are wondering. Like with that two of cups, people are noticing like an evolution of how you're presenting yourself. Like you present yourself differently now. Like maybe your style is adapting to something new. It's like you're metamorphosing and it's starting to show on the outer. Where before it was a lot of this inner work. And so now like the outer is starting to reflect what's been going on internally. And so of course, like your aesthetic might be changing. You're being attracted to different things. It's what I'm hearing. Then we have the Ace of Wands. Do you see all these Wands energies? It's all about that fire. And also it's that creative spark. I just heard creative spunk. Like you're really spunky, right? And like I said, you had to adapt to foreign waters and you had to like learn how to be comfortable in your own skin because people made you feel awkward for being yourself at one point is what I'm hearing, okay? So the Ace of Wands is clarified with the first house, right? The Ascendant. And it says immediately the way you project yourself and do it on your own, right? So you realize like it's not about people giving you the green light or understanding like your vision. It's about you believing in yourself. And then all of a sudden you start to get the creative juices flowing in again, right? You're getting out of creative blockages. That's what I'm hearing. And it's because you had to detach from a lot of things. That way you can hear clearly your creative downloads, right? 
So let's go ahead and get a pop. Let's see some more. Also, we had Scorpio energy come through here. It says purification to resurrect the secrets of and resulting from the power of. So it's definitely giving, especially with that purification to resurrect. Like you had to shed a lot in order to become the person you are today. And people are noticing this. People are noticing that there's a shift, this change, because you've had a change of perspective. That's what I just heard. So you had a change of perspective. And that's the reason why now you're presenting. It's like it reintroducing yourself to the world like and people can't approach you the same way because you're introducing yourself differently right and we also have mars so the drive for the the confronting of in action so i'm hearing like you're learning how to confront your fears and by it's like maybe like showing yourself to the world like showing people who you really are is really uncomfortable because it's like you know you're real sensitive is what i'm hearing that's why you wanted to close off for a long time but now you're ready to take action. It's like re ready to confront the dragon. That's what you're doing. You're confronting the dragon and then you go get the gold, period. So let's see some more spirit. It also, I'm hearing something about bullies and stuff. Like you dealt with bullies in your past and it left this like residue of like this, the scar tissue residue of like feeling uncomfortable being vulnerable around people because you've been bullied before you've been you know like people talking over you at one point now you're starting to find your voice and you're starting to stand up for yourself in situations your discernment is strengthening especially oh my god you can't make this uh it's crazy we have temperance all that healing work and al alchemicalizing the pain that you've been doing with the strength card your throat chakra with the higher fit Okay, your third chakra with the higher fin. Um, Spirit's saying that you're going to be a walking inspiration to other people with the six of pinnacles here. Okay, people are going to learn from your mistakes, learn from your example, right? With this, look, with the three of pinnacles, which is all about like building a new foundation, right? Because you did this for yourself and you stopped trying to get the validation and the praises from other people with the queen of swords over here, which is your throat chakra strengthening. Here, and show them what that throw truck would do, boo boo. Okay, so let's see some more. Also, I forgot to mention these two cards flew out while I was shuffling these uh, other cards over here. We have the ego card, it says ego vanity, and we also have the sun strength and empowerment. So we have strength twice in this reading. Your ego is being strengthened in a good way because before I feel like whenever anything you were confronted with a problem or confronted with just confrontation in general like you know whenever people bump into you in life for example like before it used to have you all fucked up and like you know you you know tripping up over your words and shit right and now it's like you're not let you're like a she's a brick house okay you're like a brick house is what spirit's saying right you're real quick with the comeback now that's what I'm hearing that's why people oh dang y'all see that <laughs> What we got? Oh my gosh, we got Part of Me by Katy Perry coming through. You chewed me up and spit me out like I was poison in your mouth. You took my light and drained me down, but that was then and this is now. Now look at me. This is also with us. We have a lot of Scorpio energy coming through lately. I don't know why. It's crazy. But, you know, she's a double Scorpio. I think she's actually a triple Scorpio, I think. And I know she's a double Scorpio for sure. But Spirit's saying, like, now look at me. People saw you one way in a, a certain light at one point. But you're having to reintroduce people to, like, the new you, who you are today, right? Like, people are, like, they can't fathom this new change. Yeah, literally, victory, hard work, paying off, and progress. Six of Wands coming through. So, it's like, so you're saying that people are starting to see the progress. That's what I'm hearing. People are starting to see the progress that you've made. They can't say shit no more is what Spirit's saying. New opportunity, staying open, ace. Ace in the hole, boo-boo. So because it's like you're having new opportunities because now you're allowing your, your sun to shine, your light to shine, right? We had that sun empowerment strengthening card, right? So you're, you're, you're starting to shine now. Now people can see you. Now they can see the real you. You're not afraid of the pushback from, you know, haters and bullies or people who, you know, they just want to pick a fight. They feel insecure, so they want to make other people feel insecure kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I know y'all have mommy daddy issues. That's why you, that's why y'all lashing out at people. Go heal yourself, boo. Go touch some grass, period. Right? We have stamina, running laps around haters one step ahead. You are your own competition. And that was the secret antidote for this shift, this change in you. You realize, like, it's not about the competition outside of myself because trends and shit like that's always changing. It's about the person I am today 
against the person I was yesterday. That's what you're starting to realize. And your stamina has strengthened. You're running laps around these haters. These people who sat there and saw you one way and gossiped about you. And you know what I'm saying? They don't even know you. That's what Spirit's saying. Like, these folks don't even know you no more. All right? Your stamina, your hard work is paying off. All that shadow work you did, all those tears that you cried, those spiritual heavy weights that you lifted. I'm telling you, Booby, you a heavyweight in the spiritual realm. That's the spirit saying. We have bananas by Gwen Stefani. I heard that you were talking and you didn't think that I would hear it. People hear you talking like that, get everybody fired up. Like, you've had a lot of people gossiping. All right, this shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S, period. And it's like, you gotta have to laugh at these people because it's like, y'all so fucking childish. It's kind of like with the whole Nicki Minaj and the Megan Thee Stallion shit going on. You know, their whole beef and stuff. It's childish. It's That's a, that's a prime example of what it is to be childish. It's like, dang, y'all are just like... Y'all are haters, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all hating on each other. It's like, why we gotta live like that? That's coming up for you. Like, it's a similar type of thing. Like, people who just don't like you because they don't like your life. Like, they just, you make them uncomfortable. You show them the truth of who they are. You're a walking mirror to folks, is what Spirit's saying. You're no longer letting people bully you no more. Like, they gonna have to do tryouts to get on the team. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Detachment. And that's what you've had to do. You've had to detach from drama. You've had to say no to certain people who wanted to drag you into drama. And then they sat there. I'm hearing that they sat there and they try to guilt you because you were you weren't gonna talk bad about so and so or you weren't gonna sit there and feed the you're not gonna fire their flame in the bullshit, put gasoline on it, you know what I'm saying, making shit worse. Like you decide I'm gonna work on myself, I'm gonna flame my own flame. And I'm going to get better, right? That's what you've been focusing on. Okay, last two cards. Bottom of the deck, we have you're well seasoned from your life experience. This makes you interesting. Tell your story. Telling your story, boo-boo. Yes, somebody's going to write a book about what they went through. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. I heard this song as a download earlier today while I was getting dressed this morning. Okay, Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. I am beautiful no matter what they say. Words can't bring me down, so don't you bring me down today, right? Like, you are beautiful in every single way. That's what Spirit's saying. We have Enlightened Deacon of Scorpio. I'm telling you, a lot of Scorpio energy coming through today. Okay, Higher Perspective, Patience, Observant, The Hunter, The Eagle. Okay, so the eagle is the enlightened beacon, uh, deacon of Scorpio, right? It, it represents a higher perspective and not being a victim. Right, you're you're the hunter, not the hunted, period. Where before I'm feeling that you used to be you used to be the hunted, right? Like everything would like make you kind of kind of crumble, like crumbling in the face of adversity, and now it's like you're a fucking brick wall. Whatever these people have said about you, said to you, or said behind your back, don't matter because it ain't nothing but the devil, it ain't nothing but a lie. And you staying solid in yourself and like realizing that you're the one thing that stays solid for yourself is you. It don't matter what these people say because they're all fleeting. So let's get you some final advice, boo boo, okay? 13, 13 on the clock. Literally can't make this up. We have two messages about the eagle. We have the eagle king, okay? It says the big picture, angelic help. So it's about that higher perspective. When it comes down to it, when you zoom the fuck out, that's a big message that I've been getting lately. It's like, none of this shit matters. <laughs> none of this shit matters if you zoom out. Like, if you zoom out way away from the earth and it's like, damn, that thing is a little tiny pebble. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how you gotta look at life. Like, none of this shit really matters. We only give things meaning. So why the fuck are we gonna sit here and stress about haters and stress about people who don't care about our well-being, right? These people don't give a fuck about your well-being, boo-boo. It's like, you need to just be your best friend and, like, laugh at your haters and be like, you know what? Y'all are childish. Like, these people are so childish is what I'm hearing. And you have angelic help and support. So you can't make this up. Two messages about eagle energy, okay? Eagle is going to be your spirit animal for 2024 is what I'm hearing. So if you want to do some meditations and meditate on the eagle, uh, ask for intuitive guidance from the eagle. Yeah, we got the swan queen. Okay, we have two birds coming through, which is showing me that... Birds communicate with you. Like, birds are your spirit animals is what I'm hearing, okay? It says transformation, intuition, and patience. So, like I said, 
especially with all the scorpionic energy coming through in the eagle energy you're going through a major transformation right and it just takes time like be patient with yourself and you're very intuitive this is your season of transformation and detachment okay detachment from bullshit that makes you feel you know not good like low vibe of bullshit okay the lady of the gift generosity receiving and withholding all right i want to read this one give me just a sec Okay, I was going to read it, but I decided to just like skim through it and just get the gist of this card. It's pretty much talking about giving with an open heart without expecting something in return. And also just like blessing people. Like I'm getting a message right now of like, be a gift. You are a gift. You're very talented. You're very gifted is what Spirit's saying. Be the gift that you are. That's what I'm hearing. Be the gift that you are. You know what I mean? Like you are, your, your sweetness, your generosity, your giving heart, the fact that like you want to see everybody win and it don't matter if people come up against you or, or try to speak death over you or whatever. Okay. That shit don't matter because you only give it power if you focus in on it and say, okay, I guess that's the truth. No, bitch, fuck that shit. The truth is, is that you're beautiful. Your soul is beautiful. You're giving. You have a big heart. God's Holy Spirit gave you that for a reason. It's a gift. Go be a gift. Be the gift that you are without any expectation of what you're going to get back or, oh, what's people going to say about this if I do this, that, or the other. Okay? So this is your permission. And I split the deck. We have the River Queen, uh, flow, letting go, and natural movement. So being feminine and your feminine energy, let go and let flow and let spirit Fight your ba your battles, period. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. I just saw 16, 16 on the clock. And we got these, like, double digits coming through. So, anyways, that's the message I have for you today. Uh, if it resonates, feel free to like, share, subscribe, you'll find. Until next time, I'll send you all of my love. You have a blessed, wonderful day. Bye.